I just want to show you how I created this beautiful poster for Nike. Alright, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I'm going to retain this logo. I'm going to retain um, this. Then I'm going to remove the rest. So let's remove the other ones. I'll show you how I created the shadow and every other thing. So ensure you watch your okay. I'm going to retain this. I'm going to remove this. Now see what I did. The background usually was this. Okay, it's this. This color right here. This is it. Sorry, this is the code. Alright, I'll drop it in the description for you too get it the exact one so this is it after that i brought in the shoe that i wanted to use not this one so i saw this one but not this one but this is what i want to use right what is it right i just placed it here like this okay cool i placed it at the middle at the center then i brought in the logo not this one let me delete it all right so i'm going to i'm going to remove everything that i added to it or even let me just remove it now that logo is this right here nike all right i'll just change it to white okay fix it here all right so i'm using nine for the horizontal and nine for the vertical all right so i'm gonna put it somewhere around here all right then the next thing i did was to write just do it and i put it somewhere around here the font i use is century goatee the other font you can even use one line like this but let's use two lines let's close this up ensure that it's at the bottom at the base here all right then I copied this guy and I increased it and I used it to form a 3D stuff. I, I, can't, I did it like this, I did it like this. Now I want it to slip, I want the, the shoe to slip under it. So I did like this. So all I did was drag it like this. So it's going to look like the shoe is under it like this then I send it to the back then I brought in this guy here right so this now I used a yellow color but however you could also use another color maybe this color that you have here at the shoe but a yellow color is just okay for me all right and added an outline to it a white outline and I ensure that it is just maybe two or three for the width. All right. Then I brought this here and I typed 50%. All right. So I came here and ensure that this is bold and the color is black because it is yellow. So we want it to be very, very visible. So I came in here and I put it like this. So I copied it also and I wrote here discount. Alright. So I just reduce it and put it there. I'll check here and ensure that I'm using the part of it that is light. Alright, so that is that. Okay, 
so i'll copy this again and i'll bring this guy here i'll select the color i'm sure this color is the exact color that the, the base of the shoe has and i'll put it around there and i'll copy this guy here and i'll put it there and i'll write shop now Right, so I'll just stretch it out and I will put it there. The color is quite, it's a little bit dark, so I'm going to use a white test that will be very pronounced. All right, then notice very well that. So I want the shoe to be, um, I want people's eye to be drawn to the shoe, especially the back of the shoe. I'm going to bring a shape here. I'll just put it at the back of the shoe like this. Okay, then I'm going to send it to the back. Alright, then I'm going to go to um, shadow. I will increase this. I will make sure that it is white. I will just increase the blur radius and I'll increase this a little. Okay, this can go to the top or to the down. So let's go into the down. After that, the next thing I want to do is to hide the shadow. To hide the shadow, let me show you this. To add the shadow, I'm going to click on plus. I'll click on sticker. When I click on sticker, I'll click on this guy here and I'll click on this. I'll move it to the middle. Then I'll enable it. Come over here. Go to color. Choose the black. Even just put it somewhere around here. Alright, then move it here. So you see that that's how to form a shadow. So I'm just going to adjust it here. So I can still adjust it, move it here. I can still move it there again. All right, so the shadow is not so pronounced, but you can see that it is real. All right, the next thing I want to do now is to add a kind of grumpy background to this whole thing. Everything you will see in the description of this video. So this is it, I've added it. All right, cool. Then the next is gonna be the website to um, check this product. All right, nikeshoes.com. I'm going to reduce it and I'll put it at the center here. I'll ensure that it is centralized. All right, so I'm going to even add a border to it all right that border i'm going to remove this i'm going it's too big all right then i'm going to i'm going to do this then i'm going to go to um stroke and show that it is white i'm selecting stroke okay so that is it so i'm going to centralize that then i'm going to move this correctly don't forget to like this video and share it with a friend subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials like this my name is nigi amuda and i will see you in the next tutorial you can see how the shadow is so real all right you can see this i can even add a shadow to this so we can bring this here all right bring this here so if you want it to be a little bit darker come here increase this to this okay all right so let's bring this to the front let's bring all these other guys to the front all right i think that is all like this video and share it with your friend tell me what you think about it and i'll see you in the next tutorial and sure you watch to the end to get